And this is something everyone should do before they use a school alarm. And what I did was I located each end of the large pole. And we're going to check the wire to make sure we don't have any shorts in there. And to make sure we have complete circuits. Now I've been caught twice in my life on both of these. So, this end came from the middle of the spool. So I opened that up, I got that out. And this is the end of the spool. It's on the side of the spool. So I opened up a little hole and brought that out. So I've set my gauge on ohms to check for resistance. And I have a little uh, feeder there that'll tell me when I have a circuit. So right now, there's no circuit in there. So the first thing we want to do is check between each wire and make sure we don't have a direct short inside the wire spool. That happened to me one time. I've had a direct short in the wire spool. Luckily, it was not in a wall. It was in the basement, so we tore it out and changed it. And you want to make sure nothing happens when they manufacture this, that there's not a short in the wire, because that could happen. The next thing you want to do is make sure the spool is completely, it has a circuit between the, all the wires in the spool. So we'll check the white and black first. I'll wire that that off, and we'll check our white and black. All right, now I can see just by the noise and the little bit of resistance there, there's no resistance, that I have a circuit all the way through here. So I am sure that there's no break in that line. And I'll do the same thing with my ground, make sure we do not, do not have a break in it. And one time I had that happen to me, the word manufacturing, we had a small wire, and it had a, a break in the line, and the circuit was not complete in there. So, same thing. I have no shorts, and my circuitry is good in this line. There's no breaks in the wire or anything like that, so I know this small wire is going to use. Now, my instructor always told me, do this before you use any spool of wire. And I have to say, I don't do it. But I've been caught twice not doing this. So this is the first thing you should do to any spool of wire before you go ahead and use it. Check it for shorts and for continuity in between the conductors. Now, even on the 1,000 foot spools, they have a little pigtail here that they bring out that's in the bottom of the spool here. So you can grab that and get your reading from that. And then of course on the other end of it, you just find the end, the end that you're going to wire with. And that's how, that's how you would check a 1,000 foot spool. Just grab that pigtail and you can see we, we haven't done that. So here we are again, uh, not doing that on a thousand foot spool, so you shouldn't do it. That's the way that my instructor said, if you don't do it, it could get you one day, and it certainly did for me. So check them spools before you use them to make sure you don't run into problems, especially when you run inside a wall. You don't want to have to re run wires.